day starts with a weasel. Obviously. It starts better to weasel than it starts with me. Chevy. Oh, yes, thank you for bowing, but you don't have to bow to me. That's cool. That's cool, man. Commander? How you doing, bud? Don't you touch me again. I'll bite you. These gums can do some damage, man. Jeez. Wiener. How you doing? How you doing? I know you hate the camera. I know you hate the camera. So, I'm gonna try to get some more work done on the deck today. But first, Chinese food. That's expensive. We spent like a hundred bucks on Chinese food yesterday. It'll last us a few days. The good thing about ordering Chinese food is that you have tons of leftovers all the time. But I'm gonna save this for later. I always put more on my plate than what I'm actually hungry for. My eyes are always hungrier than my stomach. Cover it up just like that. I'll eat it in a couple hours for supper. Throw you in there somewhere. I was thinking of uh, taking the day to go out on the bike and go to Winnipeg for cruise night. But uh, I think this deck is a little bit more pressing. I've got to get further on this today. You always got to finish your work first before you have fun. Work first, fun later. If you don't have time for fun later, I guess it's too bad. <laughs> got to make time sometime, but... Anybody else want to go outside? Yeah? I just want to go outside and hang outside for a little bit and drink my poison here. This is my favorite drink. I like Pepsi Zero. I know. I know. Uh, it's got this... Uh, Aspartame. Shh. I know. It's my little... It's my one indulgence right now. Come on, guys. You got one. There you go. There you go. And where's the commander? Commander? Did he go out already? Frank! Hey! You coming or what? Frank? Commander! Come on! Hey! I'm the Supreme Leader. I'm giving you a direct order. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come get out of here. This is our, uh, our mat that we usually have on the front, but since I'm working in the front, Britt brought it back here. Has our name on it. The Geese Burst. We got this from our realtor, actually. Really nice realtor. If you guys are in the area here and you're thinking of selling your house or selling your property, I would highly recommend Coldwell Banker. They did a really good job. And uh, the realtor, like I said, bought us a nice gift. We went through three different realtors with our last sale and purchase, which was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we should have just stuck with one, with Coldwell Banker. But uh, the, the other ones we worked with were really nice as well. We just want everything sort of be centralized next time. Because when we bought this house that I'm in right now, we bought it through the realtor that it was, that was advertising for it. It was also the seller's realtor. And then the land that we bought was a whole different realtor. It was just the name on the sign in front of the property. And then when we sold our house, we picked Coldwell Banker to sell our house as well. And they, they sold it the first day it was on the market. Literally, it was the first day. We finally got it ready to go. They had a bunch of showings and boom, we had an offer. It was a good offer. We accepted it, done deal. Just like that, less than a day. It took a little longer than that obviously to get everything finalized with all the paperwork and signatures and everything. But uh, yeah, I recommend that very well. What's my alarm going off here for? Oh, it's my bedtime. I set an alarm every evening so that I remember to start getting ready for bed. Otherwise, if I'm watching TV or distracted, uh, I end up staying up till like 10 o'clock and I gotta be up at five every day. So I like to be going to bed at about 8 p.m. and pretty much sleeping around 9.30, somewhere in there. It's sort of my schedule. I need my sleep, otherwise I'm, I'm just not 100%. Weasel. Apparently it's bedtime, man. The phone told me. I don't think we're going to be selling this house. If at all possible, we want to hold on to it uh, as a rental property. Uh, we'll see what happens when the time to build comes. We might need the money off of this house 
to build it the way we want to uh, at our land there. We'd like to do both, but you know, reality doesn't always agree with us. Our neighbors back there have such a nice yard. Underground sprinkler system. That's something that I'd like in our front yard at our new place. Underground sprinkler system. I gotta write that down. That's, that's, that's going in the dream book. And we're starting to get a pretty good bunch of apples on here. These are gonna be delicious once they're ripe. And then this fall, I've gotta trim it. Especially before it uh, touches that power line up there. It's an insulated power line, so it's okay. You can touch it, nothing will happen. But if it you know, rubs on it for too long, it'll wear through, then you got a problem. But all of these cables, the lower ones, those are all just you know for internet and uh, cable TV. I know, we got a spider web of wires up here. A couple of you from Europe have expressed concern and astonishment and surprise by the amount of wires hanging above ground. I felt the same way when we moved here. I've, I haven't really seen this before, but I mean, like we got the transformers on that pole back there. And then the power goes to this pole here. And then from this pole, power well, it comes to this pole and then it goes to this house. This one goes to our house. That one goes to our neighbor's house up there. That one goes to that house there. And that one goes to that house there so there's one two three four five houses getting their electricity that's all coming off this one pole here and it all is like and it's all like right at the corner of our yard <laughs> so the power wires are all high enough up that we don't really have to worry about them i do have to trim this tree it's getting a little too close and the wires in there like that tree has been trimmed up there obviously and over there it would be a lot nicer to have everything underground. That's definitely the way I want to do it at our new place. That's how we did it at our old place as well. Everything underground just saves a lot of hassle. As long as you know where the wires are, right? Because you don't want to dig them up. That's why you always call before you dig anywhere. Just make sure you're not going to hit those power wires. But I don't mind them. They've never fallen down. And rarely ever, if ever. But... You guys do have a point, it's not very convenient. It is what it is. Diesel, I've got a job for you. You look very excited. I need you to fold all that laundry. Just a quick little video for you this weekend. Hope you guys are having a great weekend yourself. I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, Diesel. Anything left to say? Anything at all? I'm not gonna fold your laundry, man. I don't have thumbs. I believe in you. You'll figure it out. Come on, weasels can do anything. Right? Why do you look so sad? Come on, we all gotta pull our weight. And we all gotta do something. <sighs> this room is kind of cluttered. One second. Easel, come on. Oh, and Chevy. Chevy's gonna come in here now. I'd let him out of the room because I thought he wanted to go out. And then, uh, you know, I let him out and then he wants to come back in. One second. Stuff hanging on the door there. All right, guys. A little bit of a cluttered room, eh? We don't use the dryer at all for anything. We hang all of our clothes. I don't, I've, when I first moved out, I didn't know how to do laundry. And I had to learn the hard way that if you put a grad sweater in the dryer, uh, it's gonna shrink and you'll never be able to wear it again. So I shrunk my grad sweater from high school. And then since that day, I haven't used the dryer at all for anything except socks, pretty much. I use the drying rack. I guess it saves energy if you want to think of it that way. And don't use the dryer much. Just for socks, blankets, and sheets, and pillowcases, and stuff. And for the dog beds. But not for clothes. I'm way too worried about them shrinking. That's just me. How about you guys? You guys use the dryer for all your stuff? You throw everything in there? How do you make sure it doesn't shrink? Oh, leaving you with the tough questions here at the end of the vlog. I actually want to know, how do you get things not to shrink in the dryer? I mean, Britt probably has all the answers to this, but I want to see if you have the answers so that I can figure it out without asking her. Because I can figure things out on my own. 
not afraid to ask for direction sometimes. But this is between me and you, okay? <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>